and Kristen here at the premiere of Everything Everything. We're excited to talk to the cast and all the guests coming through and find out what they would risk everything for on a deserted island. Let's see what they have to say. It's one of your favorite moments from filming this movie. We got to go to Mexico. We go to Hawaii in the film, but we went to Mexico and pretended that it was uh, Hawaii. And so we got to spend all day snorkeling and swimming in beautiful water and like eating papayas on the beach. It was amazing. Some of my favorite stuff we actually shot in Mexico. So there's a whole sequence we're on the beach and we're snorkeling and we're going cliff diving and it's, that's that was my favorite. What was one of your favorite moments from filming in this movie? There was one scene we shot where um, Ollie has to drive into the driveway and Nick kept running over this bush no matter how we tried to get it in. It was super, super funny. I enjoyed playing cards with the cast and just hanging out in a tent under the rain in Vancouver. It was really beautiful. I had this one scene where I was talking to a laptop and pretending Maddie or Mandla Sternberg, we were having like this amazing conversation and it was just a dead computer screen and I don't think she was in the room, so that was interesting. I just remember when we'd be rehearsing and I was like taking a phone call and I looked up and Nick was like, pushing her around on like a makeshift wheelchair on top of this like moving cart and hold, she was holding this plant and I was just like trying to take an exact call. And I just felt like we were in the middle of the breakfast club. So do you think they had like a real chemistry offset too? Absolutely. I remember the first time they hang out, they sent me like a selfie of them hanging out and, and just both texting me to say how cool the other person was and I just knew I had casted the two right kids. Do you have any of your favorite qualities about the actors, how they play the characters you wrote? Amanda has this sort of innocent but like sort of determined and char like very charming quality, which I think is very Maddie. And then Nick has got the whole sort of self-deprecating broody thing going on, which is definitely Ollie. I mean, obviously they're different too and they have to channel those characters, but they had some of those innate qualities that I thought was like, those guys are good, they know what they're doing. What's one of your favorite messages of the movie? Getting out of your comfort zone and breaking down boundaries, getting outside yourself. And then also, I really like the fact that Amanda and I have this relationship and it's not really highlighted, it's just sort of, it's not explicit in the film, it's just between two people. Honestly, my favorite message is just the fact that it features this interracial couple and a black girl as the lead, and yet that's never the main conversation of the film. In fact, it's not really a conversation in the film at all. Perseverance, determination, the will, it's beautiful, it's inspirational. Just to be vulnerable and to be open to love and to like take a chance for it and not to like let anything limit you in the, in the choices you want to make in your life. Love is worth risking things for. Love is beautiful. Its loss can be devastating. I just want people to sort of think about that and make themselves more vulnerable to love. Is it worth it? I think it is. You did one of the songs in the movie. That's so cool. What can you tell us about it? It's called How Did We? I'm so excited. It's one of the original songs of the movie. Um, kind of like the theme song for it. So I'm really excited. It plays at the end. When I heard it for the first time, I like freaked out and like peed my pants. It was so exciting. Such a cute and beautiful movie. Let's say you're stranded on a deserted island and you can have any food you want. What food would you risk everything for? Either blueberries or curry. <laughs> hot Cheetos, bro. <laughs> I love hot Cheetos. In and out or like some, some pizza. Like I'm all of it. Cinnamon rolls. Ah, which would not sustain me at all. So really bad choice, guys. Don't okay. learn from my example. But yes. Well, we're vegan. Yeah. So I choose fruit. Because, because if you're on a tropical island, hey, fruit might even grow on the trees. You know, it's always there, delicious, keep you healthy at the same time. I really love arugula. Sushi? Does that count? It's like one food. It's like a type of food. Sushi for sure. And I'm on an island, so it'd be fresh, right? <laughs> I just had really good vegan crab cakes. It was made out of like artichoke, but it was like really good. And I right now I'm kind of feeling that. But if I didn't just have that, I would probably do macaroons or I would do some sort of like sushi roll. Probably some chicken. I like a lot of fried chicken. Specifically french fries, but really the potato is just really close to my heart. You can do everything to it. A little sour cream, you can switch it up every day. I think it's a very versatile thing that we uh, take for granted sometimes. Can't go wrong with pizza. Spring rolls, I love spring rolls. Like whenever I get back to my hometown, because that's where they have the best spring rolls, I asked my mom, can we please get spring rolls? And she's like, you just had some. And I, I love it so much. Literally, I, I don't get tired. I could have it every single day for the rest of my life and I wouldn't care. I've actually thought a lot about this. It would be pizza because you can have endless toppings on it. So, you know, even if you wanted, you could just eat the toppings. You can't get sick of it. I say salad because I don't like soggy vegetables and I need to eat vegetables at some point in time. So I think salad would be the way to go. Pesto pasta. That's what I would do. 
my favorite. Really good sushi rice. It has to be top quality <laughs> or else I'm not going for it. If you don't have good rice, it's all over. You have to have good rice. For more, go to justinemagazine.com. You can follow us on social at Jesse Magazine. And be sure to get our issue in print or digitally. It's all on the website as well. See you later.